All right, so how can you take your own Strava rides and turn them into uh, 3D printable trophies? So what you want to do is first open up your Strava, uh, open up a particular ride that you're interested in, uh, and go to this little uh, wrench. Click on your wrench, and you want to export the GPX file. Uh, you can wait for Strava to do that. It shouldn't uh, take very long. Then you want to hop over to Google. You want to do GPX to STL uh, into Google or just memorize this particular website, GPX Struder. Uh, GPX Struder will take the data from your GPS uh, and turn it into an SDL uh, and print it on, according to this, printer bot metal symbol. Uh, so if we do an upload to G the GPX file, we can choose our file. Uh, and I'm just gonna search out my GPX uh, and I've got it ready to go. And then you've got your options, all sorts of different options you can use. You can use your route. Uh, you can exaggerate the vertical um, kind of uh, scale that you're going to use. So you can make it look maybe a little bit more epic than it actually was. Um, some kind of default elevation uh, that you want to plug in um, or force default. You can fiddle with any of these parameters that you want to get it looking uh, how you'd like. The model itself. Uh, you have three options. You can do a map, which will do the actual uh, route that you took. You can do it as a line, which is elevation profile, or a ring, which will take that elevation profile and wrap it into a circle. Uh, again, you can read this for all of the um, descriptions of all those. Uh, map projection, you can put it onto Google Maps, some kind of custom map that you want to do, uh, whatever you want to do here. So you can, uh, you can read over those if you want more information on those. The size, you can uh, adjust the size that you're going to have. You can Tweak this to the build plate, uh, whatever build size you have for your particular printer. Path width, I found uh, I kind of like four millimeters. Uh, you can fiddle with that however you'd like. And then you just extrude your route. And it's very quickly uh, extrudes out your GPX file into an STL. And then you can generate that STL. Now you download your little profile that you've just created, and then you fire up your favorite CAD software. I tend to use Tinkercad just because it's quick and easy. And we can import that profile that you just created in your um, GPX extruder website. So we go ahead and we load that in and we can click import and it'll take a little while to do this, maybe uh, one or two minutes. Uh, I preloaded mine in. So we've got this uh, GPX file all ready to go. Uh, we can see it's, it's a little rough. It's got some inconsistencies, but it should print just fine. Um, and you can uh, fiddle with this however you want inside of Tinkercad. Uh, I tend to like to maybe put a little base in there. A little platform for everything to sit on top of. And if you want to add some text, maybe to describe your ride, go ahead and add your text in. Black ride, uh, and then adjust that however you please. Yeah. And then we just make sure that it all fits together. Maybe you've got the multi-material multi, multi uh, upgrade. You can print in multiple colors. Uh, maybe you can do some, put in some filament changes to make the elevation profile actually uh, vary in color as it rises. Uh, whatever you can think of, you can, you can probably get done just with those uh, few simple little processes. Uh, so the final step, um, you want to combine all this together, uh, link it into one part. So we'll group that together just for the most basic print that you could do. And then once that all is all linked together, you can export as one shape. And there you'll have your model ready to go.